their advantage. Yeah, because they, just... they have great team chemistry. Yeah. Uh, Scar was doing a good job of walling them out, and Mango and S Fat ended up in little slap fights on the side of the stage. And S Fat didn't do badly, may stretch the imagination, but he didn't win. Gotcha. And that put him behind. And this team is a Fox Falcon. Okay. Fox Falcon? Yeah. It's Marth really Fox. Hmm? And Marth Fox. Yes. It, I think it's really dangerous to let Scar go crazy. Like, whenever he has free reign of the stage, it's like two, three hits, takes the yeah. stock. His combo game is pretty nuts, yeah. and it's understandable that it doesn't always work out super well in doubles. Like right now, look at that. Mango Nest Fat, isolated on the side of the level, not what they want. Oh, wow. <laughs> yep, like you said, just like you said, Scar has a bit of room on the stage, yeah. and the knees are out in full force. I love how there was just this like, little ping pong back and forth. Both uh, teams were hitting each other. Like they crossed in the middle of the stage. Oh, wow. All right, and SFAT does a good job turning it around on Mango right there. Mango secures an edge guard on PPU. SFAT gets a shine on Mango. But then he eats a face full of foot. And that's not and that's not good. And he's he's choosing to pressure Mango at the side. No. Mango. Okay. Mango makes a great decision to go straight up and dodge that back air. That gave him the opportunity to hit the up B. But he was at a low enough percent that it barely sent him anywhere. So he ended up eating another shine off of s -Fat. So that was, that was a good play right there. The 1v1 worked out in blue team's favor. Right now, I'm surprised Mango chose to continue fighting on the left side of the stage instead of going over to assist Scar. It worked out, but I'm surprised he did it. And nice little two for one for Mango there. Gets the edge guard. It's, it's kind of rare to see Mango playing the support role, you know? Yeah. It looks like uh, Bobby keeps... Uh, looking for an opportunity in his opening. Oh, whoa. But Mango just <laughs> taking the kill right there. Never mind. Yeah. Well, since they were having so much problem, so much trouble, not so much problem, uh, as they were having so much trouble earlier uh, figuring out who was supposed to go in when, and they were, they were like, trying to share the combo too much. Oh, uh, gotcha. And hitting each other. Yeah. I think just designating one person to be the main hitter is uh, is just fine. Mango's been doing a lot more just full jump hits. Oh no. Just very very basic team style. This match and is getting pretty chaotic just because of how much uh, red team's been role switching. You yeah. Know, sometimes sometimes Scar will get the combo. Sometimes Mango will go out for a gimp or an up smash. Right now, Scar's in a pretty nasty position. Mango does a good Ooh. job of showing up though. He gets Sfat's attention, and that gets Scar back to the level. I like that they're not edge guarding Kevin, and instead they're yeah. they're two v one on Zach. Once they can two v one Marth, all they have to do is hit him once randomly with like anything, just once. Yeah. And there you go. Now there Fox go. is at a Called high shot. enough percent, and they can make it two v they can make it two v one very quickly. And right now Scar just has to not die for a few seconds. Oh, great option. Scar, Scar, we need to have a talk. We <laughs> need to have a talk, buddy. I don't know if you can hear me, but. I disobeyed a direct order. I said, don't <laughs> die. He promptly, promptly bit the dust. And, yep, is he is really in grim. Oh, quite a rough got position. The, got off the ledge there. They've got him just in a just in a rough spot. Scar, Scar can't really get his footing, and they have control over all the space he has, up, he has available to him. There's not a lot he's going to do. And <laughs> keep it simple. Yep. And Scar just says, you know what? Forget this. This isn't fun anymore. I play this game for fun. I play it with my friends, and I play with honor. Anymore. Clearly is a man who plays with honor. PPU, a dirty edge guarding cheater. <laughs> I, you know what? Who I, uses Marth anyway? I bet you he wave dashes. I bet you he's a glitch exploiting butthead. <laughs> what a scumbag. I'm done cheering for him. <laughs> okay, uh, enough of that. Right back into it. Yeah, they... They're going full aggro right from the start. And again, Mango ends up next to S-Fat. S-Fat ends up at 80%. <laughs> Not what they want. Not what they wanted from Apex. <laughs> Tiny little exchanges. Yeah, right there. Gave the impression that Mango and, S or Mango and Scar were actually like 2v1-ing Pew Pew you. But then Mango's just ready and waiting to switch targets the moment S-Fat goes in. There's they're doing... Trap. Yep. Like you said before, they're doing... Mango's being a bit more supportive, and now that they're not crashing into each other as much, 
they they're just not giving stuff away for free. On the other hand, PPU and SFAT are getting a lot of clutch hits. This is some of SFAT's shine spikes on Mango in particular from the last game. Quite nice. Mango's had a very long and interesting life right now, but he really needs to to die. Oh. He he refuses. He oh, heard no. your request and he politely <laughs> declined it. It's not on the set list. He's not going to play that track. He gets the up smash onto SFAT, but Pokemon Stadium not going to put in that much work just yet. Ooh, that rapid shine. Nice oh. reflexes from PPU getting oh. the up B. And good job not killing himself. Yep. Uh, it looked pretty bad for a second. <laughs> Shout outs to PPU not killing himself. Nice. He, oh, oh, wow. He held it down extremely well. Yeah. Sharing there, the ledge like that is really hard. Yeah. There was, a, there was Fox waiting for him, so it didn't work out. But sometimes all you can really hope for is to make it as hard on the other person as you can. Like, that's the most you can hope for. Because people mess up. High pressure situations, people mess up all the time. On the stream in front of however ridiculous number of viewers we have oh, right wow. now. Oh, wow. Mango caught and stunned that whole time. And ushered off the level. Oh no. <laughs> people do people do mess up even Oh yeah. no. Some of the simplest stuff. Yeah. That's why Ganons and Falcons can make it so far, even though we all know the formula for edge guarding them, aka hit them over and over again. <laughs> like they just keep DIing. They keep making it back. They don't let you have it for free. Yeah. And that's why you never give up. Like you want to give up sometimes you think, wow, who would mess this up? <laughs> Everyone messes up. It's true. Everyone. All the time. Except me, Mewtwo King. <laughs> when the chips are down, he just kills you. It, you die. Except Mewtwo King. I think that's why people stop cheering for him. <laughs> like, it's it's going to happen whether he'd we He'd get a grab and the rest of the stock was a foregone conclusion. Mm. So anyhow, back to the game that's it's in front of us. Uh, SFAT, right now, got to stay alive. He's got to let uh, PPU be the front man for the band because... It's looking pretty just, grim ooh, for Blue Team. Oh, no. Friendly oh, fire, friendly fire is on. Yeah. <laughs> In case anyone was wondering. Oh. Uh, Up. Oh, we try Scar to style here. Scar's being silly. And right now. And Mango's like, no, I, I want to get the kill here. Yeah. And Scar's just falcon punching. Pretty much an unstoppable ledge guard situation yeah, right yeah, there. That's true. So it's one one. Yep. <laughs> Mango still taking a drink of his beer. Yep. He's been rocking it, man. He doesn't. How does he do that? He just wants to have fun. Apparently. This is a fun children's party game. <laughs> Next up, Mario Party. For people who are allowed to drink. <laughs> huh. Shoutouts to beer. So, keep you this time beer. actually being the one to get oh, uh, Mango bike. Mango in a 1v1. Scar eating dirt pretty much as a result of that. Ooh. I think PPU had the leeway to just go for the reverse down air right there, but he, he wasted time turning around and it cost him. And ouch, Scar eats again. Doesn't does not want that. Oh. Nice reach from PPU there. And SFAT is there to pick Great up the pieces when they land yes. on stage. Absolutely. But that's a bit of West Ball's pressure. I don't think Scar was anticipating that. He he falls off the level waving his legs around. This is an unfortunate match for a red team. It looks like Scar is just He's just suiciding this, this match away, but let's see what they can do. If you play too close to the edge against Fox, you're going to have a bad time. It's true. Rule of thumb. And you know what? With the lead that they've got, uh, PPU and SFAT can pretty much play this however they want as long as they're not just dying over and over again. Good down smash from Mango. That was excellent coverage. And really nice little edge control from PPU right there. Oh, I love how Zach jumps right in as soon as that forward smash starts lagging. You yeah. Know? So He's there to cover it. Yes. Doesn't do what I would have done with Fox, which is get hit by it. <laughs> as his teammate, get hit by it. <laughs> I mean, oh, oh great. Suicide, suicide spike, spike on play. Mango. Good choice. No messing around. And it's time to style. Ooh. He lets it ride. It's a rock. How's the song go? Le he lets it rock. Okay. Let it rock, let it rock, let it rock. Oh, but it's not enough. Wow. It falls like a rock. That's for sure. He's like a Chevy. Those commercials, I hated that song. It's because I didn't like trucks. I was not a truck fan. So when I saw the Chevy commercials with them playing Bob Seger's Like a Rock, I just got mad. Change the channel. Yep. And right now, Scar it's practicing for I Killed Mufasa 8 <laughs> on SFAT over in the corner. And 
Uh, Mango gets the better of PPU in their 1v1. He's at pretty high percent. And now they've got him pushed over to the edge. And I don't know if SVAT's going to be making it back from this. Valiant attempt by PPU to cover him, but... Oh, he yeah. wanted to... It was a good job. Good choice by Mango to go for a grab there and just hold him. Hold him in his arms through the dark and stormy night. So we get to see how the team from the, that one Beast 3 is uh, is faring in this tournament now. Yep. And they're going pretty even with NorCal, so... Yeah, but right now, this game is oh, uh, wow. looking pretty under control for NorCal. They've that was got... An excellent combo er, play. Rather for, for Mango and Scar. They've you know, they've got the stock lead. They're keeping it split up into 1v1s, which is exactly how they've been winning these games. And, like last game was a bit of an anomaly. Every time Scar got touched, he fell off the level and died. That was unfortunate. It's just it's really unpleasant. Was and ooh. PPU was really hoping to hit that platform and get the tech, but since he never got his double jump, it was the easiest edge guard in the world for Mango. Just just sit there and wait. We've got some nice nice team combo action going on from him. Scar interferes, though. He is a meddler. Keeps his teammate alive. And Scar's stock tanking pretty well, actually. He's still four stock. I think Didn't after really I think after last match, because uh, he, he killed himself so many times, he's been he's been a lot safer this time. He, I've seen Ooh. him on the top platform a lot. PPU barely makes it back without his jump. Going for that downer on Mango. And yeah, Scar tanking it out. As if to say, that's not how I play the game, guys. Please believe me. Mango, you know I'm good for stocks. And that was a pretty, I feel like that was a decent choice from, from PPU. He I knew agree. that if he tried to use anything to get back to the stage, he was just gonna get edge guarded. So he decided to go for a guaranteed kill by just continuing to push Mango away. I definitely agree with you. And Great ouch. Super. Oh. That's that not just... enjoying that one. Well played by Mango. Me and me and Daryl were talking yesterday and we were saying we were watching some of the pools. One of the most important things you can do in this game. Moment of silence for that beautiful backer to backer from PPU, by the way. One of the most important things you can do this game is understand when to stop hitting them and just take their edge. That's Ooh, true. Stocks have actually evened up. Wow. And I did not see this coming at all. They just they got to keep splitting them up into two v ones, and they just they just rode the momentum there. How did this happen? Critical hits, man. It's you really got to get your critical hits, oh, but there's a critical right there. Yeah, Mark too high up, and S Fat pinned against the edge. You don't want to get stuck in your shield against Mango. It's not where most people would choose to spend their weekend. And and Scar dash dancing on the stage like a shark, you know. He's just like lying yeah, and waiting for that opportunity. That was a good shorten. Yeah. Good idea from SFAT. I, I like the idea. The only That's downside is that Mango just didn't have a reason to leave the edge. Yep. It's kind of when you try and juke somebody out, but they just don't have a reason to go for it, so they just sit there swinging in place, <laughs> and then you end up running into them, and you're like, why'd you keep doing it? Well, you weren't punishing me, so you know, if I keep doing it, I'm not going to lose. I'll just keep swinging. So that was Mango. Scar was there to punish the full one. Yeah. He got the complete shorten. Mango just, just hit R. Hovering over Onet right now. Problem solved. Pretty on good counter pick here. On, on it's that. a good level. Yep. Because Mango can't use the car on account of his uh, blood alcohol content right now. <laughs> so, on it, very bad choice for them. Fortunately, uh, for the world, no one's allowed to play there anymore. And we're going to Battlefield. Good choice. Marth gets his setups. Uh, I mean, it's it's a big level, but it's not so big that they can't get around and help each other. Plus. If situations ever get hectic, the space animals both have the choice of getting high up. Yep. So, yeah, right there. Getting oh, tippers. These team combos. Getting tippers uh, for free without having to even use any moves to set them up is kind of a big deal. So, right now, Stock Tank Scar, he wants to get over there and help Mango. He knows he needs to, but PPU keeping up the pressure really well. That's that awesome team chemistry they have. They, wow, just just goes for it. Kevin he trusts us that to, to keep him safe. Yes. It's that trust. That friendship. <laughs> we have friendship here in Melee. 
I don't believe it. <laughs> a man and a fox can never be friends. Well, actually, that's not true, because a fox is a kind of dog. And dog, man's best friend. So there you go. And, yeah, right there. When you hit your teammates and the other person doesn't have to use a move, they get to combo with whatever they want. Falcon's down air leads into Fox back air, into Marth back air, and Mango's wondering when they found time to pay Scar off. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, wow. That was, that was just an unpleasant exchange. I'm impressed that the only one who died was Mango. Yeah, exactly. Like, I expected multiple people to die there, and that's fun. PPU just, like, Knowing exactly what to do to keep each, other, keep each other alive. Mango, he pretty much picked the most awkward place for PPU to pick up a kill well, when he was up being. And right now, stock lead, firmly in blue team's favor. Mango and Scar. Oh, good well, grab. Oh, yeah. Marvelous job by Scar. Right now, I don't know what they're going to do. Oh, wow. Yeah. I think they're just going to have to take it to the next set because this is not pretty. All they have to do is trade. For the rest. What? Oh. <laughs> Just keep on swinging. These kids, I swear. No respect these their, days. Their team combos have been really good when they've been able to play their team game. Jeez. And there's no stopping them from doing that in 2v1. They just goof off yeah. in the 2v1s at the end. They've barely had to take any of them seriously. That is insane. I can see why you said earlier that in their first set they were breaking them up because letting them do that all match long, that's, that's not yeah. a good idea at all. That's that's how you you end up looking over and you see that your teammate has only two stock and you're like, when did that happen? Why did that happen? It's because two versus one is not easy. That's, that's Even if you're you a character with a shine, like it's it's just not this is not a good time. That's when all you the stuff you'd want to punish you don't get to. Yeah. That's when you get a two, mil two million view YouTube video where yeah. people scream into the mic. And pretty much people from every gaming community <coughs> around the world know what a wombo combo is. Yep. You listen to like Korean StarCraft shoutcasters <laughs> and they're, they're just like, oh, Marina Ru and wombo combo. <coughs> like it's not to be racist. That's terrible. But really, they do. I've, I've heard wombo combo out of Korean mouths before. Wow. It's pretty funny. Hashtag oh. racism. Okay. <laughs> so oh, let's PPU let's actually look there. at the match that's going on right now. Good edge guard from SFAT. Very even, but Scar needs to hold on to this stock. Yeah, I mean he's he's not gonna have too much trouble because PPU and SFAT, they're not trying to burn resources yeah. on going for edge guards nearly as often. Like if they have a free hit, they take it, but given the chance, they pick two V ones now. And we've seen they're yeah. really good at their two V ones. Oh, oh, no. That is big. That's a big swing. You grab your partner and you're surrounded by your <laughs> opponents. That is the absolute worst situation I can think of. And right now they're they're caught in the 2v1. They've weathered the invincibility. Mango's off the level. Wow. Eats oh, those pew pew you doubles tippers. Those are just so rude. <laughs> those are not polite at all. I don't not think those all. were raised well. I bet th those are like tippers that would open the door at the gas station and then just let it shut and hit you when you walk <laughs> in behind them. Those are not kind. Not at and all. And oh, oh, he go. He, he went gets for the it. double jump. Wow. And, yep. Wow. Really well placed from Scar to put that dash deck right there. That should have I been a dead fruit. I can't believe Mango lived through that. We should have had rotten mangoes right Absolutely. there. Absolutely. But. You know, PPU just wasn't getting the actual spike hitbox. I know he wanted it. PPU definitely swinging for the fences right now. He wants to set over. Yeah, and E. I want to, yeah, big credit to SFAT. Like, he had Scar right there. Scar's at a high percent. Yeah. That's an attractive target. Uh, don't get battlefielded. Nope. Don't get battlefielded, buddy. All right, just putting up the front line right there. Scar has to be extremely careful. The moment he's off the level, that gives them the chance for a 2v1. Oh, this, these efficient team combos. Yeah. This is just the bread and butter of this team right now. Yeah, they are they are burning them from both ends right here. He's got the grab. Scar knows he can't afford to go in with any yep. kind of hit because if it doesn't work out, wow. Ooh. This is NorCal teams at its, in its element right now. Yep. As and Fat and PPU, they, they are just perfectly right comfortable. There. This is a significantly more manageable 2v1, though, because Mango, Mango's just got to stay on the level right there. Oh, and, oh but that's it. Yeah. 
One had grab. to forward B. He could not give them any time to set up an edge guard, nope. but doing that put him right in GPU's hands. So for Mangoitskar, their whole game plan has been isolate and destroy. And they do that very well since Scar has, has such good combos on Marth. Uh, Mango is amazing at fighting other space animals. In theory, it looks really good. But and you... that's exactly why they picked this level. It's yeah. big. They've got the two 1v1s going. The moment Mango has a chance, he runs straight over to SFAT, but it's... it's... I lied. He's going for Pew Pew, but he changes his mind. It's a bad idea. Listen to Wobbles, Mango. <laughs> I know... I know a lot about doubles. That's why I'm going to grand finals and you're not, right? Okay, good talk. Yeah, right there. Scar picking up Marth combos. Doesn't drop it. And pretty even. Pretty even. As soon as one of blue team knocks one of the others away, they just go to town on the other person. Yep. Like, right there. They, they knew. Scar was off stage. They immediately closed in on Mango. And good job on Scar going for the edge right there. They were trying to control all of Mango's wow. space, but they just couldn't do it. The, there was one spot easily available to him. And a bunch of awesome stuff happened while I was talking about that, but you know what? <laughs> wow. That well-placed tippered forward air. Yeah, Scar's in danger. Gets that up tilt. He's a fat man, though. <laughs> this is Bobby Scarduzio. <laughs> he, doesn't, he doesn't die. You heard me, Scar. I called you fat. He's got to do something. Yep, there he goes. I Mang don't know how you break that up as Mango. Like, what do you even do there? The best thing he could have done was do down air shines of his own. Mm. Like, but... Hit both of them? Yeah. Okay. Just try and hit both of them and then that stop. And let Scar get a, get a shield or a roll or something up. And Kevin... <gasps> Kevin Toy! Yep. And that's... You see, that's the thing. Is that we're talking about how Scar and Mango want to keep it set up at the two 1v1s. But the thing is... Mango needs to be fighting s -Fat because Pew Pew Yu is hitting like a truck right now. Right now he is in that position he does not want to be in. Wow. He didn't even have to suicide spike to take that last Young stock out. Young man. <laughs> <laughs> yep, and with, they've got a pretty hefty stock lead right now and Pew Pew is styling and look at him. He chooses to go help out s -Fat. Doesn't want to give anything away. I love how Kevin does that. When they're both shielding, he runs to the other side, and now they're sandwiched in. It's great positioning. Mango putting them both kind of in an awkward position. He's got the 1v1. The isolate is on, but ooh, ballsy move by s -Fat going to oh the edge no, right there. Oh, no, that situation again. Yeah. Like, even if it's not going to kill Mango, just force Scar to be alone for a bit, and nice yep. grab from PPU. Mango... <laughs> I, I, I feel like Kevin just gave him that for free. They just come back down, and now they're invincible. Yep. Right now, they can just they can cover everywhere he wants to go, and all they need is a random hit. Random hit. Yep. Pokey pokey. In your mouth. <laughs> so we've got Mango and Scar down 0-2. I wouldn't be surprised if they salty or if they try and take him to Dreamland or something because those are the widest levels that they can use. Called Nice. One point for me. <laughs> Unfortunately, I'm not entered and I can't win anymore. So Aww. so that point does me no good. Fine. If you get enough, though, you know, you get into grand finals, right? That is exactly how it works. That's why you always... Oh, my God. Okay. And two for one deals on Pokemon Stadium. We got tips. Yeah, Mango right there just... It doesn't matter how good you are. The best player, best players in the world don't want to get sandwiched as a space animal. You just don't get to play. And if you can't play, it doesn't matter how good of a player you are. That's a really good point. Pretty much if you don't get to play in melee, you can't win it melee. I know. I'm. That's like Taoist, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> very, very zen. Yeah, right there. Esvet coming over the top. And yeah, like... They watch each other extremely well, Esvet and PPU. And then they're like right there for the support with each other. Yeah, but one of the things to keep in mind is it's not that I don't think Scar and Mango could be doing the exact same thing. I think the problem is that Falcon uh, just, he's, it's so risky to go in. Okay, so we got the dunk. We got a dunk from the three point line. This is looking ridiculous. And oh, this that right there. Is 
That is why you do not go in so hard. <laughs> Unless you have, like, a, such a ridiculous stock lead. But yeah. I, I don't know. They've, they've just kind of been throwing stocks away for a little bit now. Yeah. And, ooh, Mango. Playing it risky. I think that's his only up. choice right now, though. Yeah. They've got to get ahead, and they've got to do it drastically. But that up smash, this, is, this puts them in an awkward position. Wow. Nice ridiculous. combo. How's it going to end? Okay. Oh. Mango answering back, and suddenly the stock lead, not as massive as it was before. He's got to play it play it perfectly, but... Oh, oh. excellent edge guard. And he's out. Back. Scar, does Scar have what it takes to do the impossible? Oh. No. Short answer, no. Long Ooh. answer, no. <laughs> pew, 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 and that's fat. I am nasty comeback. I'm all sorts of proud for my NorCal brethren. <laughs> these kids, these kids. Yeah, they they just stole the show, man. They just kept. Absolutely. They had something awesome in every match to like just make you stop and go. I'm gonna shut up right now and and just enjoy melee. Just bask in it. <laughs> Take a melee bath.